Some of us in the mid-state don't use public transportation. Could more money for more useful systems change that? Governor Shapiro wants to try. Seth Kaplan's on this tonight. Seth, how would it work locally? $282 million, Alicia, would go to agencies throughout Pennsylvania. $5.4 million of that would go to the mid-state's biggest agency, Rabbit Transit. For Rabbit Transit riders, nearly 70% have no other option than to use Rabbit Transit including people who don't own a car like Kiara Jackson and Francis Sawyer. I'm going to try to head up to Route 30 because uh, we have a job interview. Good thing the bus came on time, which Francis says is usually the case. I feel like it's a good system. Like the all day bus passes, they're very affordable. But they did have to wait a while in between buses. Rabbit Transit Executive Director Rich Farr says those waits are an important reason why more people, especially people who do have other choices, don't choose transit or put in a more positive sense. We move from offering a bus every 30 minutes to every 15 minutes on the Route 1E, which connects downtown York to East York. In this very short time, we have already witnessed a remarkable 20% increase in ridership. PA Secretary of Transportation Mike Carroll says the money Governor Josh Shapiro is asking for would help people everywhere in Pennsylvania, including those who might be correct in thinking they personally would never get on a bus or train. York in many ways outside of the city. The use of uh, residents across our state with the shared ride program is transit. Transit is not necessarily a bus. But not everybody is on board. The bulk of it's going to head to SEPTA. Philadelphia's giant transit system, says State Representative Seth Grove, who says ridership is down at big city transit systems, even though they already got a lot of federal pandemic aid. Mismanaged one-time federal dollars. It's leaving them a financial hole, none of which is the state's problem. Um, they need to figure that out at the local level. Frances Sawyer says she doesn't care where the money comes from. She just likes the idea of more transit funding. Honestly, I feel like that's a good idea. With my instance with the job interview it being a, a little bit more quicker. And we mentioned that $5.4 million for rabbit transit. The system that includes Red Rose in Lancaster would get $5.6 million, although that would be shared with Berks County. Lebanon Transit, Dennis, would get about $600,000. Seth, thanks so much.